uh, well in this video we are going to discuss about uh, different types of uh, SQL statement so what happens exactly is that you now we have this Oracle database here and uh, we give SQL commands so we give SQL commands uh, from some command line tool like SQL star plus or isql or uh, or some through some other program like java or php or or any any languages or c whatever so we give an sql command to the database and database passes that sql commands and then do whatever it's supposed to do and then gives us back the result so we send some sql command and we get some result so what we are trying to discuss here in this in this video is that what are different types of SQL commands that are possible? So we are going to discuss about all those different types of SQL commands, and also we are going to show you some kind of demo uh, on the Oracle database uh, about those things. So there are five types of SQL statements that are available. So five types of SQL statement. Okay. So the number one is uh, data definition language, or we call it DDL. So DDL is something like we we define a structure. Uh, so we uh, some example is create a table, drop a table. You can give the grant and revoke uh, on uh, on some privileges on the table, and also you can rename the table. So these are some examples of DDL. So let's try to do using uh, uh, our SQL plus. So we have already connected with Oracle database. So let's try to create a table. The simple syntax to create a table is create table, and you give a table name. Say so table name is uh, we give it uh, AAA, and then we give what is the contents? You know, a column name, column name of the table. Say the column name is A, and then the type is number. So we create a table, and Similarly, we can drop table by doing drop table name. So this is a, a example of DDL. And next type of statement we have is DML. It's called data manipulation language. So in data manipulation language, so basically in, in DDL, we create a structure. So let's say we create a container. And the container name in our case is AAA. And then AAA container has one column called A. All right so in dml what you can do we are going to populate that container we will insert we can insert uh, a data to the table also you know if, if the table has already some data we can do a delete and you can also modify the data existing data and by using an update statement the update statement is dml and then there are some some else like uh, you can do uh, uh, you can do a lock so you can you can lock the lock the table and that's uh, this thing and uh, you can do also an important thing is select select data from the table okay so let's do quickly a dml so that uh, we can uh, get into it so we have this table uh, aaa so currently if i do a select star from the table name we will not get anything because we didn't have any data right now so first thing is that we're going to do put some data in and when doing that is the insert statement so we do insert into aaa and then we give the values so this is a syntax and then let's say you insert a number for one right so we have inserted a number one right so if i do now select star from aaa uh, i think i should see the value for that and then uh, i want to i can delete i can by i can do by delete from AAA. so all the uh, rows are deleted because we just have inserted one row so therefore it is showing us that one row has been deleted okay so similarly you can do an update statement uh, to make sure that this update is working so we can modify modify an existing row so what we saw here is in dml statement whatever container we made we can fill that container with some data in this case we put one we deleted them again we created one okay the next statement that we have is called transaction control statement. So transaction control statement is something, uh, example of those things are commit, rollback, and save point. 
So what we're going to discuss about uh, uh, like you know, this uh, some example. So let's say uh, like you know we we are giving this command. So whenever we uh, deleted this row, or let's try to insert one more row. So insert into a values is equal to 67. So if I insert 67, so I, if I do select star from AAA, select star. Star. So we are seeing that value 67. So what is really happening is that we are connecting from this SQL plus, and then one session we are uh, we insert something. But the point here is that this is not permanent. This is not it committed. How do I know that? So let's say I have another user. So here is another SQL plus. So here also if I do select star from AA, I don't see any rows. Why? Because whatever I inserted here, I have not committed it. So the moment I commit in this session, then that value is permanent. That values can be seen across all the sessions, all the users. So by using a transaction control statement like commit, we can say that this has been done. So once you do a commit and then if you run the query again here in this other session select star from AAA we should see that value 67 being, uh, being committed and another thing is that the rollback like say for example you insert another row right now so insert into I'll insert in this session so insert into AAA values Say I am inserting a value for 45 right now. Okay. So if I do select, since uh, since I have not committed, uh, if if I do select star from AA, I will see that value. But if I do the if I run the query same query here, select star from test, I won't see any. Uh, sorry, I think I made a mistake. In, Sorry, I think it's a, the column, the table name is AA, so that's why it's giving me an error. Select star from. Okay, so I'm saying 67. So, however, if I realize that whenever I insert this row, I realize that this might be a mistake. So, what I can do? Since I didn't make it permanent, I can always roll it back. I just give a statement to roll back. And then if I do select star from AAA, I won't see 45, uh, the, you know, the row with uh, value 45. Whereas, because I, I I roll it back. So these are the two, uh, these are the three uh, statements that you can uh, you used to get uh, in case of uh, transaction control statement. The next thing is a session control language. Session control language. So in case of session control language, first let's try to understand what is a session. So so as I told you in my previous slide, so we give an SQL command and then database returns the result. So this is one user is giving that SQL command. Same thing can happen for another user. Another user can give another SQL commands from uh, from SQL plus and then talk to database and database gives it the results. So in this case, what we are talking about is that this is called session number one and this is called session number two. So, so session control language is basically to alter the session so that certain parameters can be valid for that session. So one of such parameter is called SQL underscore trace. So in this example, what we're going to do, this is my session one, whereas this is my session two. In session one, I want to I want to change a parameter called SQL underscore trace. Before I want to change that parameter, let's see what is the default value. To see the default value, I do show parameter SQL underscore trace. So SQL trace is value is false, right? So by using an uh, alter session, which is a session control language, alter session, I can do SQL trace to to true. Set SQL trace is equal to true. Right. So if I do now again show parameters, show parameters, SQL underscore trace. 
uh, I should see uh, true. But however, if I because this is a session one, this is this is one window which is session one, and this is a right hand window is session two. In the right hand window, if I do so parameters SQL underscore trace, it is still showing me false. The reason is that that whenever I do alter session, it is just change the session variable, change the SQL trace parameters in one session whereas the other session still has the value of false. So we using session control language, we change certain parameters, we change certain behavior in one uh, session. Whereas the last one, so that's an example of uh, alter, uh, session control language is alter session. And the last one is system control language. So system control language is something like, you know, in, like you know, in this example, so whenever we change uh, the alter session, it's only valid in one session. If I just do alter ses alter system instead of alter system, set SQL underscore trace is equal to true. True. So in this case, what is going to happen is now if I do so parameters. I do show parameters, it should show me SQL trace to valid set to true. So all right. So now it is showing true. So what we did is here that we have whenever we give alter system, so it changes the complete parameter system level parameter. So we have this SQL underscore trace that is the the parameter and that parameter by using system control language or by using alter system we can change it so that it is available system wide so these are the five types of SQL statement but the most important things comes from these two either DDL or DML which we are going to learn more detail in our next video slides